Good afternoon. Today we are going to do Chapter 3 Decision Procedure Part 6 where we will be continuing with the previous exercise through tables as a test for validity of arguments. We already know that an argument is either valid or invalid. It is invalid when all the premises are true and the conclusion is false. So when this condition of invalidity is found in any of the rows, then the whole argument is invalid. And when it is not found, then it will be valid. Let us continue with the exercise, previous exercise. Now we come to the eighth one. Unless you regularly practice the logic problem, you will not improve your power of reasoning. Therefore, you will practice the logic problems and you will improve your, your power of reasoning. L for you regularly practice logic problems. R for you will improve your power of reasoning. Let us symbolize unless. So, unless means if not. So, if you do not regularly practice the logic problems, you will not improve. So, both has not in. Antecedent also has curl and consequent also has curl in the first premise. Curl L implies curl R. Now, you have only one premise. Now, conclusion. Therefore, you will practice logic problems and you will improve your power of reasoning. And is the main connective. See your and the dot will come. L dot R. Now, argument form. Curl P, Hoshi curl Q. Therefore, P dot Q. Now, number of propositional variables. 2. Columns 2. Number of rows will be 2 raised to 2. That is equal to 4. Now, let us write the root table. Matrix, premise 1 and conclusion. Write the combination of propositional variables in the matrix. PQ. Assign the values. Half of 4 is 2. So, below P, true. 2 trues and 2 false. Now, write premise 1 and conclusion. P's values will assign 2 true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Now, P's value in the premise. Q's value in the premise. 1. Now negate P's and Q's values. Now taking negative values of P and Q, you will solve implication or shoe. Or shoe is false only under one condition when the antecedent is true. Left is true and the right is false. Rest of the cases it is true. We will write true, true, false. The main connective is horseshoe in the premise. Now we will solve the conclusion. P's values you will assign in the conclusion. Q's values also. And now conjunction of P and Q you will solve. It is true when both are true and it is false when at least one is false. If both are true then it will be true. Rest of the cases false. Now you will have to check whether the argument is valid or invalid. If the premise is true, then you will have to check the conclusion. See, in the first row, the premise is true and the conclusion is true. Second row, premise is true, but the conclusion is false. Then fourth, uh, fourth row also, it's the same. So we have found invalidity condition in at least one row, so it will be invalid. Since we have found in second and fourth row, obviously, it is invalid only. Now we come to the next. Ninth one. In case you are confident driving and have never been in an accident, then driving over the speed limit is not dangerous. This is first premise. You are confident driver. 
second premise driving over the speed limit is dangerous third premise therefore you have never been in an accident this is the conclusion c for confident driver never met with an accident is a uh, means accident is a and dangerous uh, driving over the speed limit is dangerous is d let us symbolize it in case you are confident and have, have never driven in an accident then the main connective is in case then so it will be horseshoe okay so let us see first premise in the bracket you will have to write and c dot curl a implies curl d second premise c confident driver third premise driving over the speed limit is dangerous d therefore you have never been in, in an accident is curl a i will write the argument for p dot curl q implies curl r p r therefore curl q now number of propositional variables are three number of columns will be three the number of rows will be two raised to n that is equal to two raised to three that is two into two into two is eight now we will write through table number of rows matrix premise one premise two premise three and conclusion we will write the combination of propositional variables in the matrix pqr and premise one premise two premise three and conclusion now we'll be writing the p's values half of 8 is 4 so 4 true's and 4 false now half of 4 is 2 so q's value will be 2 true's and 2 false now half of 2 is 1 so r's values will be 1 true and 1 false now assign the p q r's values in the premise 1 and negate them now we will have to solve the bracket first dot is main in the bracket so conjunction is true when both are true and it is false when at least one is false so assign the values to conjunction now when is implication false when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false what is the antecedent the bracket what is the main in the bracket conjunction so conjunction and on the right hand side negation of r will be taken to solve implication implication is false only when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false rest of the cases it is true so in the third row the antecedent is true and the consequent is false it is false now we'll write the premise 2 these values Now we will be writing premise 3 R's values. Now we will be writing Q's values in the conclusion. Now we will negate Q's values in the conclusion. Now what is the main in the first premise? Horseshoe. What is the main? in second premise p what is the main in the third premise r and what is the main in the conclusion negation sign of q now we'll check whether the argument is valid or invalid if all the premises are true and the conclusion is false then it is invalid let us check you can see that in the first premise is true second premise it is true and third premise it is true so the conclusion will check it is false so 
so we have found the invalidity condition in the first row itself so the argument is invalid because in the first row all the premises are true and the conclusion is false last one if traffic light turns red i should stop the traffic light has not turned red therefore i should not stop r for the traffic light turns red and i should stop is s let us see the symbolic form if comma so it is implicative statement horseshoe will be the main character r horseshoe s is the first premise second not is the connective the traffic light has not turned red curl r therefore i should not stop not is there again so curl s therefore curl s now argument form will write p implies q not p therefore not q now how many propositional variables are there two so number of columns will be two and number of rows will be two raised to two that is equal to four I will write the matrix. Premise one, premise two, and conclusion. Write the combination of propositional variables P Q in the matrix. Premise one, premise two, and conclusion. Each value will assign half of four is two, so two trues and two false in P below P, sorry, and below Q it will be half of two one true and false. Now what you have to do is p uh, p's and q's values you have to assign in premise one. I will be solving implication. It is true when the right consequent is true and or the left component is false. It is antecedent is false and it is false only under one condition when the left is true and the right is false. We will assign the values. This is true. This is false. This is true. This is false. The so main connective is implication in the first premise. Then we go to second premise. Write the values of P. Negate them. False. False. True. P. This is the main connective. Curl is the main connective in the second premise. Now we will solve the conclusion. Write the Q's values. True, false, true, false, and negated. False, true, false, true. I will have to check whether there is any invalidity condition in any of the rows. Let us check the first row. First row, the second premise is false, so no need of checking. Second row also, premises are false, no need of checking. Third row, we will have to check both the premises are true, but the conclusion is false. In the fourth row, both the premises are true, but the conclusion is true. Since we have found the invalidity condition in the third row, the whole expression is invalid. Whole argument is invalid. Since in the third row, all the premises are true, and the conclusion is false. So we have completed the chapter 3 decision procedure. Thank you.